Hey guys, what's going on? Third Street Reactions here. We're back. I'm Shane. Zach. We're back here with Star Wars The Clone Wars. I believe this is episode 51. <laughs> I think. Hopefully I'm not wrong. Wrong. You remember what happened last time? Cad Bane raids the Senate building to hold some senators hostage in order to free Zero the Hutt. And... And he was ruthless. Anakin did not have his lightsaber because no. Padme had it. Yep. Because they were doing a little smoochy smooching in her office. Yep. And then, uh... Get his fingers Bay wrapped. Organa. One the pink, one the stink. Was a goddamn... <laughs> Cock blocker. But he, he was, he's also played by uh, a Sam, Sam Jack. Phil Lamar? Yeah, Phil Lamar plays his voice. Bail Organa? Yeah. yeah I, well, I he's a cock blocker in this ep that episode. He definitely is, yeah. Walked in there, all serious, like, <laughs> we're going to get Come on! We're going to get the Senate and get some things done. <laughs> yeah. So, um, anyway, the lightsaber's left with Padme, Cad Bane and the crew, mm -hmm. including Aura Singh. Yeah, he's right? played by Jamie King. Yeah. Okay. They show up, raid the place, and take the senators hostage. And he was Cad prepared Bane too. Eventually yeah, makes a break for it, gets away with zero. Yeah, and uh, Palpatine concedes. I think if you watch this as a little kid, I'm not saying you like him maybe more than Palpatine and Vader, but I think he'd be one of your favorite characters ever. Probably. Right? Like I love Boba Fett, especially because of the new Boba Fett stuff we're getting. I like him even more. But Cad Bane's great, especially. Yeah, Cad Bane is fantastic. I know what it is. <laughs> just make sure you go to our Patreon to see the full length version of this and also two weeks early access uh, and we're gonna jump in Bug comes in all shapes and sizes I see no need for resentment in light of this joyous occasion of my freedom of course I do appreciate the help in my escape to kiss but to Cooper. He looks like the fucking godfather with the He's supposed to, yeah. Onyoka! Yepuna Boya Chopo! Kill me and the diary will show up on the step of the Senate. The cold hard reality is that as long as I control this highly sensitive material, my memory will only get duller. Yacha Chopo Nicho. Yes, take me to my room. I only hope the accommodations are satisfactory. So they're childhood friends. So in a Kenobi show, Amanda, you actually you good? Kenobi, you look worse for wear. How's temple life? Good to see you too. Yes, well, if you could tell time half as well as you could stick a landing, we wouldn't be behind schedule now, would we? Well, that's your opinion, man. <laughs> Let's get on the <laughs> Yep. Do, uh, the dude. The big Lebowski. Yeah, that is intentional. Yes. Yep. My guess is they've taken him to the Hut home planet, now Hutta. As for this bounty hunter, Cad Bane, you're my co-pilot. I was afraid he'd say that. And he's basically like the dude. Yeah. Not you. And I, I looked right at you because I was wondering if you'd get it, and you immediately knew. Wearing those big fucking hut headdresses. Mm hmm. Those Twi'leks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sly, Sny, Snoodles? Sly, yeah. Definitely uh, a little more age on her by the time a new hope rolls around. Yeah. The turn of the Jedi. The turn of the Jedi, yeah. Yeah. I was thinking she's like she had 25 a party. years from now. Yeah. Does Hutch really know how to party? <laughs> Of course, having Zero locked up in the detention cell block probably isn't hurting their mood. Zero's here? If you'll excuse me, I need to step outside. <laughs> Are these as worthless ones from the book of Boba Fett? <laughs> I waited so long. I thought you didn't love me anymore. Our separation last time was... Uh... A bit abrupt, and I do blame Jabba for that. Jabba? He forced me to have you sent away from Coruscant. Shattering the serenity of the happiest time of my life. Oh, Zero, honey. 
being with you was the happiest time of my life, too. And now hearing you say that makes me the luckiest little Palawit the galaxy has ever known. Palawit? <laughs> what, what do you do together? One's a slug. She's such a like mean a, dick, though. One's okay. a guard bark. <laughs> yeah, but where is it on him? I guess the little snout can find it. Yeah. <laughs> Sniffing a thing. <laughs> With true love, there's always a way. How goes the war, gentlemen? Great, Gardula. We bring unfortunate news. Gardula? Zero the Hutt has escaped. Or you might not be allowed to leave here alive. You're glad? You're glad. You're glad. You're glad. Maybe next time I'll come alone, hmm? We only came to deliver the message. We shall be leaving now. Zero was here. He was holding one of those cups. Nice work. That's cool with a psychometric force power. I guarantee Gardula is searching for us. Leatherhead. Yeah. Guarantee. Family home. Look at that horrendously fat fucking slug in that picture. Yeah. <laughs> or there. So, who invited you? Mama! <laughs> Should have figured after all these years of never calling, you'd show up at dinner time. Thanks, Mama. The guy who plays Cad Bane plays his <laughs> and Dooku. <laughs> Corey Burke. Thousand pardons, madam. He hasn't mastered the concept of knocking. For that, I apologize. I got trouble for you too, Mr. Fancy Pants. Uh, no need. We're not here to harm you. Zero's heading for Tiff. We need to get to that jungle planet. We need to get there fast. Hey, who gonna pay for my dog? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know the voice. Probably my favorite part of the episode, though, is a giant butt mom. It's like, there's like it's got a symbiotic the creatures crawling on him. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's like a foot to them, though, you know. I still got work to do. What, what about Solarine? The sunsets? You and me sharing a future. Next time you'll think twice about breaking someone's heart. Oh, wait. There won't be a next time. Damn. Yep, it's nice noodles. <laughs> you see Return of the Jedi, you know she got her fucking hands dirty. <laughs> I wouldn't have made such a sloppy kill. Doesn't seem like much sense hanging around here. Not making any trouble between us. Are you forgetting how you held the Senate hostage? I may not be capturing Zero, but you are going to prison. Well, now that you mention it, the Separatists are paying a million credits a head for a Jedi. Oh, dude! <laughs> nice little area. You can fight. <laughs> well, you see him whoop the shit out of Boba Fett. Three moves is not too bad. Ah! 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 Yeah. <laughs> He's probably got a million of those things. I never did enjoy hanging out with you. Remember in Kenobi on the wall, he sees Quinlan's name on there. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. Chubaikabunga <laughs> Chikyagi. Jabba thanks you for delivering the Holo Diary. 
Everyone just gets fucked in this episode. Lovely creatures such as myself could do a bounty hunter's work. That's it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the episode, we didn't know that we needed. I thought it was great. It was good. Cat is a badass. He was. I mean, a part of me thinks there's no way in hell he should be able to take on one Jedi, nonetheless two, but I'm very glad we well, got I mean, to see if you it. think about it, I mean, Django... Yeah. When well, Django is like, goes against one and kind of gets the upper hand, I think. Yeah. But it's supposed to be such a rare occurrence. But, I mean, they establish that Cad Bane is on that level. Yeah. But against two Jedi, you yeah. know? And he kind of... It kind of shows up to me. It seems like he well, he doesn't whoop him, but he puts up a hell of a fight against two. He does. Yeah. I and guess he had help. Yeah, he yeah, did, but they so. had help, and they had the force. Yeah. It was definitely offset substantially. Yeah. I mean, but when I'm, I believed the whole choreography of it. It's like, because he's on the defensive most of the time, but then he, he strikes hard. Yeah. When he isolates one, he strikes hard. Yeah. Yeah. No, it, it was cool. What did you think of the episode overall? It was really good. Sny Snoodles. Size noodles. Oh, yeah, you're right. Sigh, yeah. I'm not right. That's right. In the end, the Jedi and Cat Bane didn't get what they wanted. Nope, no, they didn't. And Size Snoodles isn't working as a bounty hunter, kind of for Java. Java got what he wanted, though. He got what he wanted, <laughs> yeah. Always does until the end. Yeah. They they always mention kind of the bad guys winning, uh, but they talked about going forward in the show. George is like, we need to have the villains win a little bit more. And mm -hmm. I think it was a cool episode to do it. It was cool seeing the Hut homeworld. My favorite part of the episode was Mama the Hut. She's she's great. Well, well, who's her voice again? Angelique Perrin. Angel it sounded like a guy, didn't it? Well, they probably they could have put it through a little fucking yeah. thing. Yeah. But a squawk, squawk. To me, I was thinking a black dude. <laughs> but just, uh, <laughs> to me, but it was a girl, okay. And, uh, yeah, Quinlan Vos is uh, well, psycho. These, these days, Angelique can be a boy's name for all we know. Oh, I guess it could, yeah. Uh, what, what do you think of psychometric force powers? I mean, because that was in the EU, I, I believe, and they brought it into here. I mean, it's all right. Yeah. I, I, I don't like... I mean, I get where it has its place and why people would like it. Yeah. But I don't like the Jedi being all-powerful. Yeah. They, they just continually just like, well, they could do this too. Well, the idea is, he, his character, they, he can't do... Oh, uh, telekinesis or... I think so, telekinesis, yeah. Uh, he can't do that, but he can do that. Like, there's this one Jedi who... Uh, he can't do it either, but he can. He he got these ants to move this thing, and people are like, I thought you can't do it. He said, I can't. I just got these ants. I used a force on them and made them do it. So just like some Jedi can't, and I they have it. workarounds. I, I know, I get it. I just I don't know. I, that's the bigger the world gets, the more it robs from the original trilogy and kind of the what it gives you. And it's like, okay, well, it's actually this big, huge world. And there's all kinds of these all powerful people, and it just yeah, you know, something's lost there for me. But not I get stuff for all these other fans. I understand. Yeah, I just really liked how they brought Quinlan in. He's in, he was originally in episode one in the background, and he was in the EU. And George liked him so much, mm. and George notoriously didn't like the EU. The only thing he actually ever liked was Thrawn. Um, but uh, he he brought him in, brought in the hut, the name of the Hut world, um, and uh, George Lucas and Dave Filoni definitely, you know, their relationship shines so much because I think. Uh, he was there to balance out George and bring in some things that were well-loved from the EU. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Obviously, like, Thrawn, because I know you know he comes back in the next cartoon series after this. Yeah. That's because of Dave Filoni. Okay. Um, uh, anyways, and Colin Vos kind of being the dude. <laughs> he yeah. just kind of like the... Maybe after the... He's a little know, more of a maverick. Yeah. Yeah. Like said, he looks like Billy Soul to me. Yeah. Um, Sonny, I can't remember the guy's name, the actor that plays him, but yeah, one of my favorite movies, Predator. Yeah, the the song and dance of the beginning that was the tribute to like just those gangster films like Chicago and stuff like that. Where and episode six, and uh, well, and obviously episode six, yeah. Um, and also 1984 Temple of Doom and Max with, Rebo with the big headdresses. Max Rebo's band. Yeah. Did you hear uh, Zero say "What a world, what a world" when he was dying? No, <laughs> that's from obviously Wizard of Oz. No, I fucking hate that movie, The Wicked Witch. I can't. I don't know why people like it. It just I hate it. <laughs> I, I like it, but I can I can get why uh, my, my children uh, certainly didn't. They, they were freaked out by it. I know that. I wasn't freaked out by it. Like, to me, I'm sitting there. I get that for its time, it was what it was. But yeah. to me, I'm sitting there thinking, none of these things look cool. Nobody's cool in this shit, <laughs> and. Everybody, everything sucks about it. There's no cool characters. It's the only thing you get are some catchy songs. <laughs> yeah, I thought this was a great one, and it capped it off with a pretty cool fight. The fight was great. Yeah, I really enjoyed the hunt. 
Peace. Yeah. And um, no, I really like this episode. Yeah. My mom of the hut was pretty funny. Yeah, and you called out obviously the Godfather, and his name is obviously Marlo the Hut. And we, I think we, you, you remember Gardulo owned Anakin and Shmi as well. So, uh, so we got to see kind of her for the first time. Although in, uh, I believe in the Bounty Hunter game, maybe you played. Gardula. Well, how did Watto free Anakin if he owned them? If Marla, if Gardula. No, Gardula sold them oh, to, to Watto. Watto. Yeah, and then Watto freed them, or freed one of them. Yeah. Oh, no, freed them both, I guess, in the end. Well, no, well, she sold Shmi, yeah, and then that guy freed her and married yeah. her. Yeah. That's a hell of a thing to do. You can't get any fucking muffs. You buy a slave and free her and marry her. And you have one leg, man. Well, that was after. Yeah. <laughs> You're right. Oh, Kling. What do you think? He was like, well, if I do this, you got to marry me. You think he married her and then freed her? <laughs> or, or freed her and then married her? Yeah, you're right. Yeah, that's a question, right? Uh, anyways, Corey Burton, he's definitely got some range between Cad and Zero. Mm -hmm. Two, obviously, huge opposites there. And Dooku. The guy that plays fucking Gideon Gleeful's voice. Whatever else he does. We're getting closer and closer to a really cool arc. But there are some enjoyable moments such as this on the way there. So uh, I think that's it. Thanks, everyone, for tuning in here. If you like what we do, like and subscribe. Find us on Instagram. Find us on Twitter. Comment down below. Hit that thank you button if you're feeling real good about it. If not, comment down below and leave some snarky bullshit, and we'll catch up to you. Maybe it'll feel bad, and it'll feel good if you click it. Anyway, Patreon, full length, two-week early access, one-week early access. We'll see.